Welcome back to Humble Homemaking. Today we're going to be making a peach crisp in a cast iron skillet. If you don't have a cast iron skillet, that's totally fine. All you need is a baking dish then and a frying pan. I prefer to use the cast iron skillet though because it's all in one. So the first thing you're going to do is boil a pot of water and blanch your peaches. This is such a cool trick. You take the peaches and you toss them in the boiling water for a few seconds, about seven to 10 seconds, and you throw them in a bowl of ice water for seven to 10 seconds and then you pull the skin off with your hands. Like it slides off, it is so easy. Next we're going to heat up our cast iron skillet over medium high heat and then we're gonna slice up our peaches into chunks that are bite sized, not too small, not too big. And for this recipe, I like to use slightly unripened peaches because if peaches are too ripe, they're too soft and then they don't hold their shape and they kind of get mushy when you cook them. So. I like to use them when they're just slightly unripened, when they still have a little bit of crunch to them because it helps them to hold their shape a little bit better. And for this recipe, you use about six to seven peaches. Once the peaches are all cut up, you're going to then take your lemon juice and pour the lemon juice or squeeze the lemon juice on top. Then you're going to add a quarter cup of white sugar. A quarter cup of brown sugar. a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then a quarter teaspoon of salt. Stir it up so that it's evenly coated. Now you're going to take your peaches over to your heated up cast iron skillet, add about a tablespoon of unrefined coconut oil or butter, drizzle it around the pan and then add the peaches and let them simmer. While those are simmering, you're going to make your topping. For the topping, we need one and a half cup of oats chopped. So I'm putting this into my little bullet blender and I'm just pulsating it a few times just so that it grinds up a lot of the oats, but not all of them, because we still want texture. We don't want it to be all fine, finely ground oatmeal. Then you're going to pour the oats into a mixing bowl, add one quarter cup of sugar, one quarter cup of packed brown sugar, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of ginger, a pinch of salt, and then two to three tablespoons of unrefined coconut oil. Then you're going to use a fork or a whisk and stir that all together. And right there I just added one more tablespoon of the coconut oil. I thought I would be okay with two but I definitely needed that third one. And then you're gonna take it over to your peaches that are all simmered and stirred and pour the topping right on top and use a fork and even it out. Then you're going to throw it in the preheated oven. Make sure you're using something to grab onto the cast iron skillet if you are using a cast iron. After about 20 to 25 minutes, it should be done, bubbling, and at this stage, you do not want to eat it. You want it to cool down a little bit. I waited about an hour, 
and then you can serve it with ice cream, which is also homemade. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next Thursday. Bye-bye.